Jesus. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are trying out yet again something sparkly. You guys know I can't seem to take my hands off it. <laughs> today we're trying out a product that I'm super intrigued about because it's supposed to be glitter without any glue. Hmm. And this is supposed to be like a loose glitter mind you. So we shall see about that. But before we go any further into the video, if you are new and you're just stopping by, why not subscribe to my channel? I review things like this all the time, especially sparkly things. And if you are to a magpie and you are drawn to sparkly things, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button and the little bell button next to it so you get notified of when I upload. I also have Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow me along there. I update you guys a lot on there and give you kind of sneak peeks of products that I'm trying. But yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbering your ear off and self promoing and let's get straight into the glitter. So the product in question is by Unicorn Cosmetics. Unicorn Cosmetics is well known for their eyelashes. I used to buy a load of their eyelashes. I have some, but I can't really show them to you because they're gross. I've been stuck on my doll beauty one, so I just haven't bought any, but they have really good quality eyelashes. However, in recent years, they've started bringing out makeup products. So they've got a lip gloss, which is like an oil slick kind of looking thing. And then they've got these, which is the glitter skin. I was super duper duper intrigued with these because they say you don't need a glue, which in my eyes sounds like heaven. By the way, if you are ever interested in purchasing Unicorn Cosmetics, cosmetics, <laughs> or eyelashes. I do actually have a discount code with them. It is commission based so I earn like a little bit of a profit from your order. If you mind that, don't need to use it. Obviously this isn't a sponsored post, I'm a very small YouTuber but I did manage to get a discount code. I think anybody can. You can sign up for like an affiliate link and you can pass it on to your friends and family which is what I consider you guys. So if you did want to try out any eyelashes or if this glitter is any good and you feel like you want to purchase it, I do have a discount code and I'll put it up on the screen for you guys and you can save 15% but I just wanted to make you aware just in case you wanted to save a little bit of coin by all means Don't feel like you need to use it. Oh my god So these go for $8.99 each but they are actually on sale as of today for $4.99 I'm uploading this tomorrow So if you are interested in getting these they are pretty much half price at the moment. They come in 16 colors I have the shade Mermaisin and also I think I've got the shade Shimmerin. I'm not quite sure. I can't actually find my order details for this. I can't find it. I'm not even sure where I ordered it from. But I've checked the Unicorn Cosmetics website and also Beauty Bay, which they sell it on both. I can't find my invoice for it. So on the website, it says that this is a highly pigmented and it's splash proof. So that doesn't necessarily mean waterproof, but it's, <laughs> I guess if you're in a paddling pool, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's supposed to dry down completely after a few minutes. Actually looking at the website, it says that it's more of a glitter paste than just a loose glitter. In the kind of pot though, you can kind of feel it moving around in there. So that's interesting. Our paste takes the mess out of applying glitter. We are going to be testing that out. Oh, and that's it. That's all they say. It doesn't say about instructions or anything. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna get on into it. I'm excited. I'm thinking about a kind of purpley glitter with this look today. So we're probably gonna use Mermaisin, but let's get on into it. So let me just see, oh gosh. Yeah, so this is the color Mermaisin. It's just basically a white iridescent glitter with purple and blue reflex. And it has different chunks of glitter in there. So I'm really excited to use this one. And then I think this is the shade Shimmerin. I'm not 100% sure, I'm going to be honest. But this one is gorgeous. This could probably go with this look as well, but it's a little dark. This really reminds me of like dragon scales for some reason. <laughs> like a phoenix. It's like a red and pink mixture. It looks gorgeous. But I feel like a purple vibe is gonna go more with this look so I'm gonna try more of the chunky one today so yeah let's zoom you guys in and see what we can do with this glitter and hope we don't make a mess please try and ignore my oiliness by the way I'm doing a foundation review and uh, I can't I can't touch up right now so please just be gentle I'm actually gonna come a little bit closer Hello. So I'm not quite sure how to apply this because it doesn't really say. I'm gonna go in with what I would usually use and I'm gonna use a brush. The one that I'm gonna try and use today is the Spectrum A15. It's just this little synthetic like packer brush. These don't go everywhere, okay. I do just have to say this packaging is really cute. It looks like it's in like a little diamond jar. Very, very cute. This one is kind of messy though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, whew but it looks super duper pretty. I think my best bet is just to use what's in the lid and it just stuck onto the lid in there. Actually, I don't know, cause it's supposed to be a paste, isn't it? No, 
I won't use the lid. Because it's supposed to be like a paste, which, ooh, it kind of is. It's kind of like all bunched together in there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Can you see like the circle in the center there? When you press down, it starts to like separate and stuff. Ooh, interesting. So I'm gonna try and like loosen this up. It feels pretty dry. It doesn't really feel like a paste. It's kind of like fluffed it all up now. Um, hmm. It's not really sticking to the brush all that crazily well. Let's just try putting this on. Oh my God, I'm getting it everywhere. Great. I thought it was supposed to be no mess. How? I'm getting it everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I have substantially covered my brush with this paste, which doesn't really feel like a paste, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of like add to my kind of halo eye that I've got going on. So let's just go on, shall we? It said it doesn't need a primer or anything, so let's just try it out. This is very chunky, by the way. It's got different kind of shapes to it and also different kind of finishes. Ooh, wow. That is so freaking pretty. I'm just pressing it on the eyelid. Oh my gosh. This is like mermaid skin right here. One thing is, is it's very chunky, so I can feel it a lot on my lid and it's right there's one right above my lash there just push that back up but look at that Ooh, that is so cool okay i'm a believer i'm not sure if mine's like dried out or something but this really is not like a paste at all um it's actually very oh my god flaky and kind of going everywhere also when i'm putting it on my lid it's kind of going everywhere <laughs> And there's just like no moisture to it, like you know what I mean? I don't know if I've got like a dud one or something. Again, it does feel like there's stuff on my lid. Oh, it looks super cool out of focus. Whoa. Oh. Also, I don't know if you saw, but there was quite a bit of fallout that went everywhere. So I wouldn't call this mess free, but it definitely didn't need like a sticky base or anything, which is quite cool. And it's not affecting the mobility of my eyelid at all either, which I appreciate. I know. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. Just gonna quickly do my other eye. There's so much fallout to this, I don't get it. I do not want those kind of chunks of glitter going in my eye. I've seen this like advertised on Facebook and it looked like magical and like a massive paste, but this is just not the paste I was expecting. <laughs> In fact, it's not even a paste. It's just straight up loose glitter. I'm confused. Okay, so it does give a very super pretty effect. I love the actual glitter in this. It's so nice. It is very messy though and has gone everywhere. <laughs> in the advert, they like swatch it on the hand and it's like a massive glitter paste. And I'm just confused as to why mine doesn't feel like a paste at all and it just feels like a loose glitter. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys out and we'll see what mess this makes when I try and actually just swatch it. Yeah. Back. Yeah, I'm not super duper impressed with that because this is quite a chunky glitter. If this was a finer glitter and it reacted in this way, it would have not have stayed on my lid and it would have been fallout everywhere. So mm, I'm gonna swatch it now and see if it actually feels like a paste because on the brush it was just too light and airy. Okay, so I'm just dunking. Oh, this packaging is so messy. It looks cute, but honestly, not very practical. It is going everywhere, like literally everywhere. It's just pouring out the tube. Oh, actually, I don't feel it kind of feels pasty. Maybe it would have been better with a finger. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just try applying this with my finger on my eyelid, not with a brush. I didn't quite get the effect of what I just did on my hand on my eyeballs. So I'm just gonna quickly try putting it on with my finger. Ah. It's so chunky. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> definitely a lot of a better effect with my finger, but definitely a lot more mess with my finger. <laughs> like, I don't know how I feel about having to actually, like, dunk my finger in this chunky-ass glitter, but it does definitely feel more pasty when you use a finger. It just picks up more product. Maybe that's the trick. You need to pick up more product with, like, your brush. Damn, I got a lot of stuff on my lashes but i definitely feel like a mermaid like all over <laughs> there's like all over my top and everything and it's just everywhere right now it's so even in my hair like what's going on Ugh, get oh god oh god it just keeps getting worse okay so i can safely tell you that this is not mess free a hundred percent not mess free i am currently a mess right now i have glitter literally everywhere but yes my eyes do look beautiful Dare I swatch this one for you? I'm gonna be brave and swatch this red one for you. This one feels more pasty. This one actually is like condensed in the actual thing. This one is a finer glitter. This actually feels quite gritty, but that is very, very pretty. Like, look at that, dang. I actually feel like that one was easier to apply. With the chunkier ones, it just kind of gets everywhere. I don't feel like the paste is like 
good enough. Fair enough, it's watching it on a hand. So maybe if you're using it for like body glitter and things, it would work. But if you're putting it on the eyes, maybe not so much. Just because it does get everywhere. And I don't know how I'm going to sort out this mess. <laughs> I'm going to have glitter everywhere for years now. Don't know whether I would approve of these. They're fun to have in your collection. Something different. I'm definitely open to trying more things like this. Sorry if I'm at like a different angle or something. Uh, my camera just died on me. I can just imagine these just going everywhere. The fact that it is a paste is a good concept. But if you're trying to put it around an area that's kind of got like excess skin or not firm skin, you're going to find that it's going to kind of ball up and it's not going to be very good on that area. Because I could kind of smooth it out of my hand. But that's like a big surface area. Over my eyelid, it didn't work as well. Maybe if you're going to like a festival or you want to have some body glitter, then this would be cool. <coughs> I think I'm going to swallow some. <coughs> oh my god, go there, my one. Ugh, my eyes are also flaking, <laughs> which is just great. So that means it's not going to be very long wear. Anywhere that you think, hmm, I don't want glitter there, it's, uh, it's going to get there. But yeah, apart from that, I don't think it's very practical for the face. On that note, I'm gonna finish this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. And don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below and also the bell button so you get notified of when I upload. I upload here every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel, so I'm here every week for you guys. I hope these videos that I make put a little bit of flavor, a little bit of pizzazz into your day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that cool. I, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you stick around for the next video. Till then, bye guys. Oh, babe, oh, babe. Thank you, babe. Ooh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Pow, pow. <laughs> what am I even doing with my life? Oh my god. Oh, fluff, go away. Unicorns, cause oh, oh. it is so warm in my room right now. I am actually sweating. It's just because the heat is on in my room is so small. It's like a little sauna. But, have I got it in my eye? Because I feel like I'm seeing it in my eye. I don't want it in my eye. No, it's just my eyelash. Okay. I hope these videos that... Ugh.